Hi friends, my name is Abbas Hashim. Today I'm going to talk about why to learn programming. And it's a very deep concept and it's a very deep topic that why we have to learn programming. So let me show you my screen here and I'll show you the slides. Alright, so the first thing in how to teach yourself to code in this thing I'm going to talk about why learn how to code so why is it important for all of us in this era to learn to code so let us start the slides now alright so a lot of you just have an idea you maybe heard from your friends from your colleagues and from your um, definitely schools or colleges or universities that programming is a very good thing in today's era and everybody should know how to code as Steve Jobs once said that everybody in this country should learn how to code why because that teaches you how to think differently from all others that's why programming is very important so and the next thing if you are expecting to find someone to build that idea for you then it's never going to happen yeah that's right that's true remember for example if you have an idea right you have an idea that you don't want to share with someone and you are trying to find out some person that is going to develop that that idea for you right then you are doing a big mistake here why because today in market there are a lot of developers out there but they have no idea what to do what to make a new thing right if you have a crazy idea and if you share it with a coder with a product developer then somewhat he's going to snatch that idea from you so that's why it is very critical to share your idea with someone with some developer because they are already in search of a new idea so that is not good for you right now in this scenario right now all right so let us move towards the next slide all right so today as you know that there's a huge demand for developers right you if you search for job on the internet on the Google you just type jobs and you will see a lot of programming jobs out there programming jobs everywhere C sharp Java per PHP Perl and all sort of programming languages why because programming is a demand for for today for the future so that's why programming is very important to learn all right so <clears throat> anyone with any programming talent is getting offers from Facebook Google and dozens of other startups right now yeah that's true I have seen many people out there I have seen many developers who are like they have no idea at start that what what they have to do and where they are they are going what they are going to do in, in the future and some of them were jobless as well they were homeless as well but what they did they learned how to code a program they learned how to code a computer they learned how to make a website and believe me within years they have they got hired from big companies like Google like Facebook and many other startups yeah that's true so the next thing why should a programmer choose your idea over any other yeah that's an another question why one for example if I am a developer why am I going to choose your idea to develop why not someone else right that's another big thing like if I have a crazy idea and no developer is going to wants to like create that idea right then in my opinion for example I am the person who have an idea and I want it to develop by some programmer but all the programmers rejected by for some reason then I will think that oh gosh maybe my ideas flop and in that way you're going to run your idea so to save from this situation you must have to choose uh, to learn to code in this way you can make crazy things you can do whatever comes into your mind for the sake of humanity right for the sake of yourself all right so do you want to pay someone that's another question 
Do you want to be someone? Why? Never. Why? If if you pay someone, then what will happen? You will pay too much. Why? Because you will not know how much that software or the web web is going to charge you, right? That costs you. So you will pay too much to the to the developer. You will be unhappy with the process. You will be unhappy. Definitely. First, he will not make make a component. He will uh, tease you. Then, for for example. If you want to, to change some module, then he will definitely again ask you for some money, and in in that way, you are getting to run yourself and your money. So the third thing, you'll get something back you didn't want, right? And then why? Why is it important here? Why? What do you mean by why? Why software is hard to estimate? For example, I want something to create, right? I want some some website like Facebook I want to build something like Facebook so if I went to a if I uh, like go to a programmer if I ask him buddy I want to develop this um, I want to develop this kind of website right I want this idea to be developed then definitely he's going to he is going to first of all make you a big he'll uh, uh, he'll ask you for a big amount of money that you are not going to pay right then if you go to somewhere else that person is again going to tease you why because software is hard to estimate nobody can say that this page is going to this website is going to be developed in hundred dollars no that's not possible because you don't know how much coding is required for that right sometimes sometimes a website is too short sometimes sometimes a website needs too much development then that only depends upon the programming it needs so when you know programming when you know how to code then you will judge yourself that how much a software can estimate right so that's very important all right so if you are an entrepreneur waiting for someone to execute your idea for you then you are not an entrepreneur keep in mind what once again if you are an are an, an entrepreneur entrepreneur sorry am i uh, talking slipping waiting for someone to execute your idea no way then you are not an entrepreneur i have seen many examples out there like a person um who is uh, the owner of imagesbazaar.com his name is sandeep meshwari he once tried to uh, build an idea like he once tried to make made a website of images and he hired some programmer and the programmer somewhat he developed that website and the website uh, successfully launched and built but with the with general with the traffic that comes on their onto the website the website goes down slowly and the user left the website just because of the speed just because of the uh slow speed of their website then what ranjesh did right what sandeep did sandeep did he learned how to make a database faster how to retrieve data faster from the database what he did he eventually learned how to code how to uh, code in the in the database in the sql server sql server is a language for database he learned that he worked on that website and believe me today he is a millionaire just because of that website he did so you have to execute your own idea right from your own house from your hand not from someone else, someone else right that's very important so here's a case study that pridash ball he went through 3 to 4 years thinking that i'm he is going to develop uh he's going to meet some magical engineer who will build all the stuff he needs but that doesn't happen then what he did he learned asp and mx access out of a book just out of out of a book and he uh like he did the coding and eventually he got successful right so his name is dennis crowley from force here you can check it check his site on the internet as well all right so the next thing learning how to code is not equal how to be a software engineer keep in mind right why because when you learn how to code you can manage things you want 
right for example you want that in your mobile phone you want to reply to your friends automatically for example if someone texts you uh, with a message like hi or hello then your software should detect that word hi or hello and send him back a reply automatically is not that good a fun idea yeah that's a fun idea you can do it so programming is fun it's a very good thing to learn program because it will automate your life you can automate automate your life so the point is for you to learn to code well enough to build a prototype okay you don't need to build a complete site or complete software but you should be able to develop at least a prototype a design even initially okay so we can say that as we have discussed here that minimum viable product you should develop at least okay so if you if we look at this formula this formula says that minimum viable product is equals to quick plus dirty that doesn't require too much effort designing back end stuff too much fast no a simple idea the idea should work okay so product with the fewest number of features needed to achieve a specific object objective so this was the definition i got from entrepreneurs guide to customer Deve development uh, and yeah this is the actual meaning of a software okay so build products that are valuable despite being ugly your product should be valuable that doesn't mean ugly or whatever here's a case study i, I can i, I, I want to share with you that you can say the twitter.com twtr right look at the site how dirty is it no one wants to sign up here today but look the back end is excellent they provide the working thing they don't care about the don't care about the design and the stuff no your idea should work that's the main concern okay so eventually you'll need to find a lead developer for example if I, I want to develop a D website okay definitely I I have to find out a lead developer but with a with a sound knowledge of how to uh, how I, I'm going to pay him how much the, that software is going to cost me why because you know how to code okay so knowing how to code helps you find pitch and manage good developers you can manage them you can pitch them you can find them okay so more and more the things we interact within the world around us qualifies as technology technology is, evol technology is evolving today and it is it will continue exponentially in the future so it's very important to be with the technology for us okay all right so the next slide discusses that there are 10 kinds of people out there in the world those who understand binary and those who don't now what is binary binary is a computer language uh, zero one you know that so society is quickly dividing into two groups okay society divides the people into two groups first those that know how to code they can manipulate the very structure of the world around them why because they not they know how to code they know how to automate anything why because they have that that kind of knowledge right so the second group of people that the uh, society society divided that is those that don't know how to code and their lives are being designed and directed by those that do right so if you are a programmer you are going to control the lives of people the lives of your own right I can give you uh, so many examples out there are so many examples that you can't believe how they learn to code and how they became successful in their lives today so at the last I just want to say that learn to code it is going to make your life full of enjoy full of happiness why because there I have already discussed too many factors with you but again if you learn to code you are going to make your pocket hot with money
Yeah, that's true. Believe me. If you learn to code and you don't want to do a job, you can do freelancing online. You can earn too much too much money from there. You can hire other developers and you can provide work to them by developing a site that that accepts like freelancing work, right? There's so many ideas out there that you can work on. But at the last, I want you, you to, to learn how to code. And there are many resources out there. You can learn from code there. And I have mentioned a link here at, at the bottom. You can see here. From here, you can also learn how to code. There are co There's a website, codeacademy.org. There's a site, Khan Academy. Similarly, similarly there are a ton of uh, tutorials on YouTube as well. You can learn any language you want. But I would recommend you to start with Python. Python is very easy, very, very easy, and you'll learn code in a uh, few months. And if you want too quick, then you should learn, you should start with HTML, then CSS, then eventually JavaScript, and then at the last, WordPress, and or Bootstrap, whatever you want. So, yeah, that's, that's all what I wanted to talk about. And if you have any question, kindly uh, leave in the comment section. I'll uh, try to answer that. So thanks a lot. Kindly subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. Thanks a lot.